Hey everybody, welcome to the show today. I hope you're having an awesome day. Today, we're looking at Tom McDonald's This House, which is the response to a video he did called White Boy, which I did a reaction to a couple of weeks ago. And if you missed that reaction, it'll be at the end of the video for a link for you to click on. Also, down in the description. So, everyone said if you're going to watch White Boy, you need to do the follow-up to this song. So, let's just get into it right now. Lately, everyone been talking crazy. Feel like everybody's got some to say. They misinterpreted my good intentions and expected I was just gonna step away. If there's a heart that pumps and there's a breath to take, then I won't bite my tongue as long as I'm awake and they don't have the guts to make a dumb mistake. I'd rather crash a car than never touch the brakes. I built this in house. They're the kind of people that be dying for exposure. They're the kind of people that get mad and lose composure. They're the kind of people that are never going forward. They're just the ones, the ones that are looking for apologies. Hating real loud, but they follow me. Screaming at the top of their lungs, I'm the scum of the earth and the same damn breath trying to preach about equality. Back before I wrote the song on race, they all ignored that I had something great. They tried to edge me out, they didn't hear my bars. They tried to tell me that I wasn't built for fame. Fast forward to when I'm paid. I ain't spending a dollar on the chain. I'll get my mama house, I'll get my dad a car, I'll make my sister rich, she'll never work again. And this hater is so underwhelming. I'm conditioned for all the abuse. Seeing the reaction videos all blowing up and you're welcome for all of the views blow up my okay so i'm guessing that a lot of people didn't like the song especially from the opening where you've seen all the comments like you suck go kill yourself i like the video and i like videos and i like rappers and or musical artists that push the envelope a little bit and, you know, say what's on their mind. I mean, that's what music's supposed to do. Music's supposed to invoke you a little bit, get you to think. It's been done throughout history. Tom McDonald's not the first one to do it. It's just he's the first one to do it for this generation, maybe. Anyway, I get totally what he's saying. Like, you know, he just put out his feelings and pretty much the hell with the rest of it. If you didn't like it, don't watch it. That's what he's saying. Twitter. Y'all just keep making me bigger. Y'all just keep showing you triggered. Y'all just keep missing the point and I keep doing me. Y'all ain't nothing to even consider. Man, I built this f***ing house. I'm the kind of person making music with a purpose. You the kind of people that be hating on the surface. I'm the kind of you ain't used to. The kind of make you nervous. Yeah, back before I even wrote the record. I can see this coming like a fortune teller. And a calm sea don't make a skilled sailor. So I thank the heavens for the stormy weather. Okay, fast forward to when we're old and gray. I'll be looking back at when they posted hate and it will hurt a bit. But it was worth it when your dream is getting hurt no matter what they say. I try conveying that I love us all. And the way I did it left them so appalled. I used a broken arm to try and break their walls no matter what they say they know it took balls i surveyed the land and i found a location unloaded the lumber and pounded the stakes and i blended the bones of the people who hated with blood and cement then i poured the foundation i built the frame with all my guilt and shame and then i chiseled my name in the date in the basement i carved my initials and all of the boards and the beams that are needed for structural greatness no record label no distribution no cosign no publicist no manager no teammates no money to make up my budget with no groceries no studio no booking agent no bucket list Okay, Tom, we get it. You do it without a label. We got that. You say it in every video. Not totally dissing you here. We know. You did it on your own. And congratulations. But what I'm not getting from this song is he said he wrote White Boy. And he knew he was going to get some backlash. So he immediately wrote this song. And to me, that's just a little crazy. Like, you knew you was going to get backlash. Just let it be backlash. Just let it go. You ain't got to respond to nobody. Just putting out stuff. Either your fans are going to like it or they're not going to like it. You're not going to win everybody. And you don't have to tell me why you wrote it. You pretty much told me why you wrote it in the in the actual song White Boy. Because that's the way you felt. That's all I need to know. I don't need this video to explain to me why you wrote it. That makes no sense to me. No PR, no marketing, just fans. Man, we built this house when my days end and it's vacant and they bury me with that only key my biggest fans gonna break in with a ouija board and a box of chalk drop pentagram hail satan try to bring me back from that wooden box y'all tried to fill my grave with then they'll sit on the roof with the rifles i hid in the fridge and they'll shoot at the men on the ridge who are coming to undo the work that i did on the block off the highway that leads to the crib and put sensors on all of the boards and the bridge so they know when they're coming to empty the clip then they'll cut all the bodies and cut off the skin then connect all the pieces with needles and pins and attach it to 10 feet of branches and twigs and then plant it in mud till it stands in the wind and they'll stand there and look at this that we did that we never imagined we do 
because of them Our blood and sweat and tears went into what we built till we were bags So we used blood and sweat and tears of enemies to build our flag We built this house, we laid these bricks, we set these traps, these flames we lit Our haters doused in gasoline, they brought to try and torch us with <laughs> Let them hate dog, everyone will have something to say dog Their opinions don't mean trying to judge your engine by your paint job Gravestone, I'm a cheap death, there's too much I ain't seen yet They think that I got it Okay don't tell me their opinions don't matter because if they didn't matter, you wouldn't have wrote this song. I'm sorry, it looks like I'm hating on this song, and I am just a tiny bit because the other two songs I've heard of from him, No Response and White Boy, this song's not even at that level. This song, I'm going to say, this song is trash because I, I know he can do better. I know he can do better. We're going to find a better song. This ain't it. This song makes no sense. None. None. And y'all can hit me down in the comments and explain things to me. But for me, my opinion, sounds horrible. Them way over my head, but I feel like I just got my feet wet. We're trying to dream more and sleep less. Avoid the pills when we're depressed. Remember to not be too hard on ourselves. If we cut deep enough, we up the bread. Man, you never know when it's time to go. Heaven's open when the bars are closed. So seize the moment. Don't leave it hoping you'll breathe tomorrow. You could be a ghost. I'm living my life. The finish line is right in front of me. Made a fishing wire, so I'll never see it till it's too late. When God shakes my hand, please celebrate. Please celebrate. Please. Okay, I mean, I think I explained enough why this song is not my favorite. It's not really a white boy response. It's, it had nothing to do with the song White Boy. I think that was just clickbait. That's honestly what it was. And uh, I do agree with him sometimes. Yeah, we I did a reaction to White Boy, and I got some views from it. Thank you, Tom, for that. Appreciate that. But I don't know what this song was about. This is beneath Tom's level. Um, I know this was a couple of years ago, and I'm kind of late to the game, and I know he's done more. And we're going to look at more. But for right now, this song, I give it a hard no. No, I mean. No, this is like one that you wrote just messing around one day. You weren't really supposed to record it and put it on the internet for everybody. Sorry, Tom. Not a big fan of this one. But if you missed my other two reactions to Tom Donald, click that playlist right here. Also, here's a video over here that YouTube said that you would enjoy. So if you don't, all YouTube's fault. If you're not subscribed, click that subscribe button. It really helps me out, helps my channel, and tells YouTube, hey, show this video to more people. So anyway, until next time, have a blessed day. Support the Chubby Unicorn, and we'll see you later. Peace.